That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time already to get soft and chunky and talk about the band Listy because uh, it's a tier zero format and um, we don't like how that makes us feel. No, no, we don't. So I'm going to go shove this up my holes. We're going to pour some maple syrup on my chest hair or what's left of it after they shave me to put on this heart monitor and it's really itchy. Let's dive on into it, shall we? I bet you're grossed out by now, pimp. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avril R32 here, destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button as we just burst pause into the 1400 ladder. We're so close. I think we're like five subscribers away. I really appreciate all of the support. Hey, shameless plug. I actually have an eBay. Um, I'm not going to link it down in the description because I want to list some stuff first, but I at least want to put that out there in case you're looking for some good deals. You can check out my eBay page. Like I said, I want to get some stuff listed first, but also I wrote a book. Yes, believe it or not, your boy actually wrote a book. Link to my book is down in the description. I talk about my diagnosis with VHL. It's $9.99. Half of all profits go to the towards the VHL Alliance to help raise awareness about that disease that I have. It's a very rare cancer. I hope that you enjoy the book. We're going to have a physical edition coming very soon once we get some more sales. So go check out my book. It's linked down in the description. Digital only just for the time being. So we got to talk about, minus all the shameless plugs, we gotta talk about the ban list. I've been testing Tempai Dragon like crazy. Sorry about that jump cut. My mic decided to turn off on me. We gotta talk about the ban list because we're in a tier zero format. I've been testing Tempai Dragons like crazy <laughs> because you can play over 20 hand traps in that deck and it's perfectly consistent. <laughs> but one of the hand traps that needs to be hit on this ban list, even though that we're in a tier zero format, we gotta hit D shifter. And I wanna talk about ban list thoughts right now because I would say that we're maybe a month to two months away from seeing another list, I don't think we're going to see like an emergency ban list drop that fixes snake eyes and all that stuff because there's still more snake eyes support, unfortunately, down the pipeline in Legacy of Destruction where we literally get a card that covers both aspects of the archetype called Snake Eyes Dia Bell Star, or they may change it to Dia Bell Star Snake Eyes, either or. The card's really damn good and it's only going to make the deck better. It's played as like a one of, at least in the OCG, but. I am so scared as to what's going to happen once we get that card because the deck's just going to be even better. So we have to take care of it in some way. We got to hit Shifter. We have to hit Zelantis. We have to hit Promethean Princess. Like, I was talking with our homie Valley D the other day, and he's like, you know a deck is tier zero when you've got two custom cards in it. That being Flamberge Dragon and Promethean fucking Princess. Anyone can look at those cards and say these are custom cards. I call Promethean Princess Summon Sorceress 2.0. Because of the fact that it's just so damn good. Like, it's it goes back to the grave. It doesn't get banished when it resurrects itself. It's absolutely insane. Now, you're probably thinking, Avery, why are you leading off with D-Shifter being banned if we're trying to check Fire Kings? Because D-Shifter is just an auto-win card. Let's be honest here. If you're not playing against Flunder, which you probably aren't, because it's a rogue deck that bricks on itself, and it's honestly kind of garbage now. Um, if you're not playing against that or something that just doesn't care about its graveyard, whether it's 8-axis with Grim Maju shit, whatever, you're probably at like table 500 if you're playing against that anyway. D-Shifter's just an auto-win. It beats Fire King, Snake Eye, Tear. You name the meta deck, it probably loses to Shifter. Outside of like maybe Rescue Ace, depending on how they open. And I don't think with Light Sworns coming out Legacy of Destruction, I don't think they want D-Shifter to be a thing that is just like, oh, you're playing Light Sworn? Shifter. And like their turn just ends. I cannot tell you how many times I've tested Shifter and Tempai Dragon going second and I just go draw phase Shifter because you don't give a shit about Thrust. You're not going to summon out a Nib or anything if you're not playing Nib. And the opponent just kind of looks at their hand and craps all over the floor because they know that they can't play. Shifter at two, I feel like doesn't really do anything. And at one, it feels so luck sacky. So I think we just need to outright ban Shifter. It's at two in the OCG, but I, I think we're going to see it get banned. At least I hope we see it get banned. It's just absolutely insane that a card like that can just turn off the graveyard. Well, Avery, what about Macro and D Fisher or the the trap that's like a return from the different dimension thing, but any monster sent to the grave is banished instead? That's the balancing point, right? Like D Fisher is a continuous spell. You can pop it. You can banish it with Cosmic. Uh, macro is a trap. you got to set it first, you know. It's not a hand trap that you can just fart out and like just win the ball game. Um, next up here, and we're we're not really doing these in like a particular order. You're not going to see any pictures on the screen because this is just more of a discussion than it, than anything else. We got to hit Pot of Prosperity to one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, 
uh, we're getting a new field spell in Legacy of Destruction. And right now, unless they change the name, <laughs> it's called Where There's a Will, There's a Way Out. And it's essentially a prosperity. You excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards the opponent controls, add one to your hand, then you take another card from your hand along with the cards you excavated, put them on the bottom of the deck in any order. If you excavate nine or more with this effect, then at the end of the turn, I think like all the opponent's cards on their field and grave get shuffled back into the deck. It's not going to come up very often, but it's another prosperity. So you mean to tell you're going to prosperity for six, play the field spell and excavate more? That's insane. Like, that's absolutely insane. Combine that with set rotation? Oh my god. And like, yeah, both players can use the where there's a will effect, but that doesn't really matter if you're OTK the opponent. I've seen some people talking about that Kaiser Coliseum is going to come back because it's seen playing Tempai Dragon in the OCG, and no, I don't think it's going to come back. Kaiser Coliseum's always been a ruling nightmare, at least here in the TCG, especially when people like decide to shark. It's it's a complete ruling nightmare. It's definitely not something you want to deal with here in the TCG. You know, like if you're summoning out monsters on the resolution of a chain, but then let's say you go from three monsters down to one, how does the opponent's chains resolve? If they're summoning monsters, it's a whole big thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. We don't need that card back in the game. But seeing hits like Prosperity, Shifter, Promethean Princess, and Flambridge being banned, I think would be fantastic hits to Snake Eyes. The problem is, is that, and a lot of people are saying this, it's going to take two ban lists to really knock this deck down. Because a lot of people are saying that the first list is going to be, hey, we're going to slap this deck on the wrist. And then, you know, the list after Nats, then it'll like really be dead. I really hope that's not what happens. I mean, I want to see the Snake Eye stuff be competitively viable and not just completely blown out of the sky. But our Nationals, we're going to have a ban list going into Nats. And you don't want it to just be all Snake Eyes all the time. Or Snake Eyes and like Tempai Dragon if they're like main decking Shifter. It, it, it would be a complete and utter just massacre if they just don't touch Snake Eye in any way. Something else that I fear too with this next balance. Konami could say no changes. We saw that several years ago in the OCG. The OCG wanted changes on their ban list so goddamn bad. They get the list to drop. No changes. They had to wait another like four or five months for another list. People were pissed. They were so beyond pissed. Literally, it said no changes. I don't think Konami of America would ever do that. Or Konami and TCG, rather. But it's something to keep in mind. Now, we are clearly in a Tier 0 format. First, I was like, you know, I saw someone say it's a Tier 0 engine, not necessarily a Tier 0 deck. But there is a pure Snake Eyes deck. And I, uh, after talking with um, our homie Valley D, I feel like tiers, he made the good point that Tier 0 engine and deck are kind of just the same thing. And so, we're in a Tier 0 format. All of that to say. And we need to see hits. Do I think we need emergency balance? No. Do I think that, you know, we need to completely kill this deck? As nice as it would be, I don't think that's going to happen. I think Konami is going to clean some things up within the next month or so. And then going into Nationals, we've got, you know, two, two and a half months ideally to play test this new format. And then we'll go into Nats and then, you know, probably Snake Eyes will win the event. I'm going to be playing Tenpai Dragons at Nats. I don't care. And if I decide to go to YCSND, I'm going to be playing Tenpai Dragon because the fact that you can play 25 hand traps in that deck is absolutely insane to me. It's bonkers. It's Sky Striker 2.0 in my opinion. But I, for one, do still enjoy this format. I, for one, think that even though the deck is so incredibly resilient and can play through two to three hand traps... It's still a really fun format when, like, you kind of look outside the box. You know, whether it's you're playing Light Sworn with the new stuff out of Legacy of Destruction. You're playing Tempai Dragon like me. Like, I would say, like, even if I had to play in an event right now, I think it'd still be kind of fun. Granted, I'd probably be playing Snake Eyes. But post-Legacy of Destruction, I feel like the format gets a lot more fun. I don't think it's going to be as Tier 0. I feel like Tempai Dragon and the other things we have in the format now, Voiceless Voice to a much lesser extent, I just don't think that deck's very good. I think that they're going to be able to hold up and do well. And I don't really even think Voices Voice is going to get hit on the list at all. Maybe they hit Preparation of Rights or Pre-Prep or something. But even then, like, you play Shifter on Voiceless Voice and they just crap all over the floor. Like, they can't do anything if they don't have the call by the grave. And they're not going to play Cross Out because that's just adding inconsistency to a Ritual deck that is, I would argue, already kind of inconsistent. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. What are some things you want to see hit on the list? I just wanted to throw a few thoughts out there. Um, 
I would love to see some stuff come off the list. I would love to see Heavy Storm come back, but I don't think that's going to happen. But I just wanted to put, you know, a few thoughts out there about the ban list and just a general discussion. Um, because I do think within like a month, month and a half, I think we're going to get a new list. And um, it's definitely going to be a nice refresh going into Nationals. So guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.